What's up, everybody, man? It's your boy, Dub Q, and I'd like to welcome you to the Black Cat Panther Podcast, man. You already see it. You already know what time it is, man. Let's get into it, and we're going to get into it. Can Oregon's DJ Johnson be the next great pass rusher in what I like to call the Mount Rushmore of the Carolina Panthers, man? You know, over a bevy of years, we've seen the Julius Peppers, the Greg Hardys, the Charles Johnsons, you know, even the Jared Allen's for the one year that he was here, come in and just do one thing, dominate. But I could take it even better. Brinson Buckner's, Mike Ruckers. We've had always a special pass rush. The Starla Tulalees, the KK Shorts. We've had guys that could get in there and get down and dirty down on that line. And I have to say, in order for Carolina Panthers to get back to what we call the recipe for success, they have to get out there and get some pass rushers, some edge rushers that can get out there and get to the quarterback. And make no mistake about it, from the Duck Nation, yeah, come on now. DJ Johnson, can we get this guy, plug him in here, and then have this guy to be the next guy? Look, make no mistake, this guy has jarring power. His hand strikes, they create early advantages, man. This guy is just big, explosive, he's rugged, but he's lacking the experience and technique to consistently capitalize on his physicality. Look, man, he is very broad, tight hips that make it challenging to keep him at, you know, the pad level where it needs to be. But as a rusher or a tackler, while on run blocks, he, he usually takes advantage of his size. So um, hailing from, like I said, University of Oregon DJ, he has very few moves or counters, but his bull rush can also put opponent on skates. Like his bull rush is no joke. Whenever he decides to commit to it, you going down. And so that's why I said I'm ready. I'm here to give you the do's and the don'ts of these guys. What where he lies in. Like I'm giving you the strengths and the weaknesses. That way you can deduce for yourself where do you see this guy lining up. Look. He has a huge role in playing a good 3-4 in um, versus playing 4-3. Because the 4-3, he's going to need more mass if he's going to be on 4-3. But on 3-4, he's the one of the guys that you can get in there and have him really flying at that quarterback. So make no mistake about it, I'm going to share his stats with you guys. That way you can get an idea of what you're looking at when it comes to him. <sighs> the guy is... Like I said, he's tied 88th for sacks in all of college football. Six sacks is pretty decent, man, for a six foot four, 270-pound senior coming from Oregon. That's pretty good. You gotta you gotta also realize he's on a team with Noel Sewell and and a, and a bevy of the guys. He just had Kayvon Thibodeau out there with him last year. So I mean, you gotta understand where this guy's aligning. He's been around experience for the last couple of years. This guy's pretty decent. Now, if you plug him and you put him on the line with the Carolina Panthers, I think that he would be a problem going forward. I think the experiences of uh, pairing him with Derek Brown and Ryan Burns would be good for him. They, it can only rub off on him in a positive way. Like I said, his bull rush is his best tendency. If he ever get his hands on you and get going with a head of steam, look out. So I think this is a guy that the Carolina Panthers should could, uh, take a look at. I believe he'll be available in the... Uh, Middle of the second round, this is a guy that we could really, really look to bring in and improve this pass rush. And that's where you do it at. You get them in the second round because those are the money guys. These are the guys that can come in and really, really, really take your team to the next level. And what do Carolina Panther needs beside, besides a quarterback? Pass rush. We need to be able to get to the quarterback and affect this game in the trenches. So this is one of the guys that can do that. I'm proud to say he is hailing from the Duck Nation, the mighty, mighty Oregon Ducks. I love what I'm seeing from him, man. Um, look, I think DJ Johnson has all the intangibles to be the next great guy for the Carolina Panthers, man, because we, we said the same thing about Charles Johnson and Greg Hardy and all the other guys that had their moments. If we draft this guy, he will have his moment and he will shine in our system under Evero. So make no mistake about it. If you switch it to a three-four, he's your guy. He will fit in here and flourish.
Look, you already see what time it is, man. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Show that love. The Cash App is scrolling also as well if you want to show love as well. This has been your boy Dub Q, and welcome to Black Cat Panda Podcast. <laughs>